the reality and the expectation was very, very different, very different. My desire, I'm not sure why, was to have a natural birth. I really just like wanted to know what that felt like. Now I know. We gave birth at home. I'd give a water birth and, you know, my baby would come swimming out. It was not planned. I really was so 100% certain that I was going to be one of those women that was very cool, very calm, very quiet, working through it. And I was the absolute opposite. It didn't go according to plan at all. My water hadn't broken yet, and so my doula and midwife were like, you have time, chill, you'll be fine. I was screaming. Like this kind of... Uh... In my head, I was just like, this is inhumane. This cannot be how we were built to give birth. I called my midwife and doula. I was like, if this is not like having the baby right now, I'm like, fuck my plan. I want an epidural. I'm coming to the hospital right now. And then I was like, I want an epidural. And then the midwife, he was really mean to me at the start. She went, no, you don't need an epidural, Laura. I said, yeah, I absolutely do need an epidural, <laughs> didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then she said it was the best moment of your life, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. That was exactly like the movies. It was like her water broke and the baby came out like 13 seconds later. Yeah. The physical strength, the mental strength, the emotional strength that was required of her at that moment was beyond me. They plonked him onto my chest and I forgot about everything that had happened before. <laughs> before it was the complete opposite of what I thought it would be like. The reality and the expectation was very, very different. Very different. It's amazing how each day goes by, it gets less, like you forget a little bit more how bad it, how bad it really was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was definitely like, I can never ever do this again. Never. Then, obviously, by the next day, I was like, well, we'll see. <laughs>